Hey, you guys. So I got a request for problem 25 uh, from chapter 3. And it's a 3 volt in series with 90 ohms. And uh, here we have two resistors, a 150 and a 75 over here, 40 ohms over here, and then 60 and 30 over here. And we're looking for the voltage drop in between these two, the 150 and the 75. And we're also looking for a voltage, the voltage drop across here. So before you continue, I'm going to give you a hint on how to solve this. You should pause the video after the hint and try it on your own. Then play the video and see if your answers match what I have. OK, so the hint is recognizing. First, you have to recognize that the voltage drop here is really the same as the voltage drops over here. So it doesn't matter that it falls in between here because they're parallel connected. That's hint number one. The second hint is once you make that recognition, simplify it, simplify the circuit, and use voltage division twice to find V1 and V2. Okay, so pause your video now uh, and try it. Okay, here's how the answer is, the answer works. Okay, so the first thing that you needed to recognize was that the 150 and the 172, even though they are separated by a jumper wire here, they're still just electric, they're electrically connected here, so they are actually really in parallel with each other. Remember, the definition of a parallel connected, a um, parallel connection is when um, they are, two circuit elements are electrically connected at their two endpoints. So here, we have an electrical connection here, right? like that, a piece of wire going here, a piece of wire going here, and we also have, of course, the connection here. So we have 150 is in parallel with the 75. What I'm going to do is simplify that. So that's going to be 1 over 50 plus 1 over 75, inverse, and 1 divided by 50 plus 1 divided by 75, oops. 150, 150, 1 divided by 150 plus 1 divided by 75, inverse, and that's going to be, all of that is really 50. So now we can replace this with 50 ohm resistor, same thing, and it'll have the same voltage drop. Okay, so, the, so therefore, that's the first hint that I gave you. The second hint was to use voltage division twice. What we've replaced with still has a voltage drop of V1. So now, what we need to do, or what I'm going to do, is I'm going, gonna, I see that my V1 is really gonna, over here, across here, I have a series circuit. So I know that the voltage drop across V1 will be um, the, uh, the uh, voltage drop. We're gonna use voltage division again, right? because it is going to be um, proportionate to this total branch. So it's going to be, this is going to be some uh, voltage drop, and it'll have, we'll use voltage division to find the voltage drop across this as a proportion of this whole leg. And the same thing here. So, um, so in order to do that, I need to find out what the voltage drop is across this leg. And it'll be the same here because this branch is parallel connected with the 60 and series with the 30. So these are two parallel connected branches. So I'm going to simplify this circuit so that I can find out um, what voltage drop this is so I can use voltage, voltage division twice in order to find V1 and V2. I have 3 volts. I have 90 here. And this is going to be is 50 in series with 40, which gives me 90. The other one is 60 in series with 30, so I have 90 in parallel with 90. When you have two parallel branches that are the same value, exactly the same value, in this case 90 in parallel with 90, that's the same thing as um, 1 half, right? Do the math yourself, but if you, you can look at that as, uh, and say, okay, I have two identical in series with, uh, in parallel with each other. I know the, total, the equivalent resistance will be half of that, which will be 45. But the calculation, though, is that 190 over 190 inverse, which will give you 45. 
So that then becomes 45. So now I have a series circuit, right? 90 in series with 45. I can use voltage division to find the parallel voltage across here. That voltage drop, I need that. So I'm gonna go three times 90 over 90 plus 45. And so we got three times 90 divided by 90 plus 45. And that's going to give us 2. Oops, not 90. That's that voltage drop, which is fine. And that gives me 2, which means this one must be 1. But the, the voltage drop that I want is that one. And that's uh, going to be 45. And that should give you 1. And it does. So now I know that this is one volt, and because it's in parallel with this, that is also one volt. Now I have two one volts in parallel with each other, and I'm looking for V1 and V2. I can use voltage, voltage division two more times to find it. V1 is going to be one volt times 50 over 50 plus 40. That will give you five hundred and fifty six millivolts. V two we want is across the one across the thirty. V two is going to be one volt times thirty over sixty plus thirty, which is ninety. That's going to give me one third, and that will be three hundred thirty three millivolts. And that's the answer to that problem.